Well, good evening. Thank you very much for coming along to this evening. I hope you're going to enjoy what you're going to see. Um, a range of photographs which I took, to say, mostly in the 1980s. Um, I'll answer the questions that I can. Uh, I didn't go around and make notes, so I don't have exact dates. But luckily, the slides which I copied, they had a date printed on when they were processed. And so that's the closest that I can get. So just to give a proper introduction of the Bosquet family, I thought it only fair that we start off with a picture of all five of us. Uh, this was taken um, just eight years ago. So the good looking one on the air, then there, that's, that's me, of course. And then um, next we've got Ian there. He's in the back at the moment, so he's there. And also it's his wedding anniversary today, would you believe? <laughs> uh, in the middle, we've got Brian and then Paul, uh, Paul went to Tewkesbury Grammar School, so um, uh, some of you may have known Paul. Uh, sadly, we lost Paul uh, back in 2014. And Martin on the end, uh, the oldest, uh, sadly, we lost him in January 2017. And so that's all five of us. And that's my mum and dad. So if anybody knows my mum and dad, or anybody knew my mum and dad, there they are. So that's Rose and Jack. Um, sadly, my dad died very, when I was very young, I was only three and a half when we lost him in 1967. But um, the few people there, that's my auntie there, and there's uh, Joe Townsend there. But this lady here is sat over here. <laughs> there's Margaret there. And there's your mum over there as well, is that right, over there? Yeah. So this was Tewkesbury Abbey in 1950. So that relates to um, the Abbey. So I'm going to move on to a picture of Tewkesbury Abbey taken in 1983. Not a great deal changes, probably just trees and whatever, but lovely sunny day, Tewkesbury Abbey. Then we go inside the Abbey. The one thing which I liked about this one is this little model of the Abbey. Does anybody remember seeing that little, little model inside? Okay, well, I've not seen it for years, so I don't know where, where it's gone, but I, I remember it being there as a, as a child. Hmm? It is around. Wait, what, is the, what is the model you're talking about? It's a little model of Chipsby Abbey there. I think it's the box. Ah, right. That was 33. Ah, right. So that's, that's what we're talking about, that model there. Yeah, that little model of Chipsby Abbey. Okay, and again, that's the interior. Again, 1983, I think that was. Um, probably not a great deal changed, but some of the chairs have probably been replaced. <laughs> We're moving on. Outside when it's in flood, again in the 80s. It does get better than this, don't worry. You'll see much more. Top of the Abbey, that was the one that, this is again in the, um, have I got the, Date for that one, I think this is, uh, no, I've just got early 80s. But you can see things have changed. We've still got Healing's Mill over there. And the International Marine is still there. We'll get closer to that in a moment. So we go from the top of the Abbey and we'll go into Victoria Gardens. Um, so you've got the old mill there. And the interesting thing about that is the old sluice gates. And wouldn't it have been good if I'd have got a close up of the sluice gates? Well, there we are, I did. So there's the old sluice. It's amazing, really. You just sort of go over it all the time. And you think it's always going to be there. And then all of a sudden, it's gone. So um, that's dated September 1987. I remember swimming in the 32. So just the other side. Um, I don't know the exact date. It was a hot summer in 1983. And some of the other slides I've got are 1983. So I'm thinking it must have been that year. But I don't think many people would want to swim in the river today. How many of you swam in the river? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hannah did, right? No, only Hannah. Marvin. <laughs> you did? <laughs> So moving on up, 
There we have the derelict um, Shakespeare International Marine waiting for demolition. Of course, all been redeveloped now. And on the riverside there. Um, so that was March 84. So a month earlier, I must have gone the other side because it's Feb February 84 on the other side. Obviously a wet morning. Uh, then we move on to Gillings Mill. Um, obviously still in use, we've got the tankers there, which is good. And remember this little bar called Ingalls, it was like a, like a champagne or cocktail bar. I don't know if anybody remembers that. I can't actually recall if I ever went inside, I can't remember. It wasn't Champagne Charles, was it? Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh. Ah, that's right. Yeah, same place. Yeah, but this would have been before Champagne Charlie's. Yeah. Oops. Oh, there we go. Of course, that building on the side. I think that's looking a bit worse for wear now. That one. And that one, of course, still got the the writing on there saying. Blizzard Coleman Brewery. Lovely building, really. <coughs> Not quite sure what the future holds for all of those. But of course, most of this at the back has been demolished anyway now, isn't it? I think. This is got this is listed, so they've got to find something to do with it. Right, okay. Okay. So there was always something about the mill. If you were at, at night and if you were on the A38 road by the King John's Bridge or coming down from the Maya, there was always something that hit you at night. And it was that. <laughs> um, the green lights, the healing signs reflecting on the water, it was just awesome. But again, we just took it for granted. We used to walk up there with my dog late at night with my brother and we just sort of always looked at it, but we thought it was always going to be there. And now it's gone. So a view of the Abbey from the Mill Bridge, the reason I took, or one of the reasons I'm displaying it, is this was before the footbridge was put in. So, so there's now a footbridge, of course, that goes over there, and this was before it went in. You can't believe that so much has changed really since the 1980s. It seems like a recent time, but it, actually a lot, of <laughs> a lot of water's gone under the bridge, so to speak. So as a calico boat, the only reason I put that one in is that you'll notice the river's completely frozen. There's someone's thrown in some bricks and things and they're just lying on the top. So by the lock house, so it's completely frozen. So cold morning. And uh, that was, I haven't got a firm date on that one. But very cold. And another fresh morning looking at the mill. I see all the, the lorries there still in use. Because they wouldn't um, cope with the lorries now with the ballards in the middle of the road if we were to have the lorries going down the high street, going down to the mill. <laughs> so going over the ham, there was a view looking up there towards my bridge, which looked rather good. I don't know if that view is still available on there on the River Seven. I really don't know if you can get that. It's probably well overgrown. And so um, moving further up to the top of the tut, looking towards the Mulvans. Again, I don't know if you can get this view. So wonderful view. You can even see the uh, M50 there in the background, Malvern Hills there. So if you come down the tut and then go right a little bit, you come to the Myers Tunnel. Now you won't see a train from me tonight. There's no trains on here, actually. <laughs> no trains, but there is some uh, leftovers, and so, uh, and this is the Mive Tunnel. I, ne I never, I was far too young, I never saw a train go through here, right? the, 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 the tree line had gone before I was, yeah, I wasn't even born, 61. <laughs> so, yeah, so I didn't ever see a train, but I did walk through it, I remember going through it as a child and being absolutely petrified going through with friends, but that's what kids did back then, but. So we're coming to some shop fronts now. And so um, I'll bring this closer because I got some more dates. So um, who remembers the Vienna Bakery? 
Yeah, so uh, of course now we've got uh, Chicago Pizza and uh, Studio 60 and Panache is what they are now. But uh, so this was dated uh, March 1984. Moving down, so you've got Bianca on the left, Saver Books, which is now the Turkish takeaway, Chicksbury Shoe Repairs, until recently that was Sweets and Treats, but they've moved over the road now. And then there's a hair and beauty salon there, which is now um, Halford the Butchers, I believe. And so directly opposite that, in the Kremlin, if we dare call it that, there was, um, there was this place as well, next to the Job Centre, which of course is also gone. Um, I don't think it was there for long. Um, and of course this is where, um, so I think Boots is just next to them, but there was like a little alleyway here, but they bricked that up now, so you can't get down that alleyway. But it's really dated because there's little there's signs in there saying vote for Nicholas Ridley, who was the uh, MP for Tewkesbury at the time. So, uh, so that really does date the picture as well. <laughs> so fine fare. How about that? And isn't that awful? Chopped up home wheat, 43 and a half pence. Look at that. Isn't that terrible? But yeah, fine fare, Conway shoes, the gas office, even the handyman center is still in position there as well in, in the high street. So of course that's now Poundland. Probably they sell the biscuits for a pound now. <laughs> Do you remember Lipton's and the supermarket? So Lipton's now that is um, coffee one and shoe zone. <laughs> so directly opposite that was uh, Brian Council. I just love the wording, uh, garden shop and seedsman. But also the dated thing on there has got Telephone Tewkesbury 2169. So there's just four digits on the telephone number. Uh, sorry? And Leopold's, of course. Yes, I was just about to say Leopold's. So absolutely right. Um, always went in there from the cake. Oh, Leopold. So April 1984, this was taken. Dobson's wallpapers and paints. Anybody remember that one? I remember. Sorry. Yes, I thought you might do actually. Yes, yes. Ah, that's trees. <laughs> yes. So at the moment, it's um, so I think you've got a shop on the. It says Man for All Seasons there uh, on the left, and so that is. Um, uh, that's right. Yes, exactly that. Um, I've got a lot of new place now, where am I? Um, there we are. Yes, so it's uh, the photo studio and uh, Alexander Byrne um, funeral directors. So all seasons travel. So there you've got Chukwe Cards and Gift and Cafe Chocolat now. So that's the... Um, because the cafe chocolate is in that one, but then they've got the chocolate shop there, haven't they? And that's the cards and gift shop. Opposite, got those together. The ancient grudge, not a very good picture of the ancient grudge, I'm afraid. Um, so I've put it in with the, the key as well for um, so the ancient grudge is now uh, the estate agent and um, cafe, the cafe mermaid. <laughs> And of course, that's a Halifax, where that one is for the key. I remember walking down the street. I was given a tip off. I'm sure it was. I was working in Tewkesbury Town, and um, there was Foster's Menswear were having a refit, and they took the sign down from Foster's Menswear to reveal this, and it said Bradley's. And so um, that goes back. So this was Greg's and the HSBC on the right. And so this is where Greg's is now, but I know that's closed, but so I was quite amazed to see that. Um, 
I don't know if it's still there, whether they just put another sign up on top of it or not. I have absolutely no idea or whether they took that down and destroyed it. I really don't know. <laughs> oh dear. Going over the road. It had closed, I'm afraid, but Chapman's and Coves, Tewksbury, yeah, now Edinburgh Wall. So, yeah, it had closed at this stage, sadly. Oh. Woolworths, good old Woolies. And everything there, you know, WX Smith, Woolworths, Sketchley's, the MEB. Um, so, of course, Smith has now sort of like swapped positions. And so I've got another shot um, similar, just going towards the end, but different time of year. So, of course, you've got the funeral directors now. now. Um, Bet Fred in the card factory in WH Smiths. And they got the Christmas lights up this time of year as well. So, so have I got a year for that? Uh, no, I don't have a firm year on that, but again, middle 1980s. Opposite them, remember that one? So, um, Ruby Tuesday, 1983-84. Uh, so we've got EE e. now, the bookworm, I think it is over there. There was a shop there called Whimsical Dreams. I don't know if that's still there now, I'm not sure. So the cross house and so um, Oliver's shoes and George Pearl and the bread cellar. So you've got the little microbrewery there now. And that's a Tewksbury Jewelers now, Abbey Jewelers, beg your pardon. Cross house tavern. And um, I think that's a charity shop now, Longfield Charity Shop, the, the shoes. And of course, everyone knows Frisbee's Corner, don't we? So this Frisbee's. But you've got Martins, the fishmongers there as well, Phototopic, um, and Bardwell. When did Frisbee's close? Do you remember roughly? Was it 80s? Well, this, is, this was taken 84, so it was still alive then, but exactly when, I don't know. I don't know. The Bardwell's is still there as well, hardware shop. <laughs> so, looking on a view down there. Um, so you've got the tourist information center, which is there now with the hat outside. Um, Rupert's, because if you look carefully, you can just make out, it's saying JG Shenton Limited for the gents menswear. It's just been taken down off a sign there. Um, brass tax, that's now a Turkish takeaway and Royal Hot Pole and YMCA. Going further down, the old Church Street Doctor Surgery there, Tewksbury Antiques and Dave on Chemist. Uh, March 1984. Who remembers that lovely little shop opposite the Abbey? Is this where the grammar school kids went for the sweets and things? Ice cream? Eventually, I think they used to go to the so I think most people popped in there on a Sunday afternoon was walking over the ham or something and grab yourself an ice cream or something anyway. <laughs> sure, it must have been a busy little shop in its day. So the Albion looking a little bit worse for wear at that stage. There's no sign up apart from the... Uh, one there. So when did I take this one? So February 1984. Um, but I also took another picture, which something struck me in the corner there. It was that it was also called Jamaica Cottage. Um, so I took a picture, but, but that's now gone. Since they've refurbished the Albion, you can't see that no more. <laughs> they painted over the top. So the old maltings. I said a little bit of railway history because that used to be the railway engine shed, of course, for, for Tewksbury. You can see the arch where the engines used to come underneath. And so Doughty's took over that. 
And so um, I'm, I'm guessing 1983. And a view from the top there. And of course, we still got Warner's Bus Depot on the left as well. There's all that fenced off from Spring Gardens Car Park, which, of course, all this was private parking for, for Doughty. Oh, went one too many. Back that one. There we go. So this is around the back of um, Rope Walk then. So that's the maltings of, over there. And um, so this is where the Baptist Chapel is now. Um, Your house. Yes, that's right. Yeah, Margaret's house would be there. So of course, this was an old railway yard and the railway would go across Chant Street there all the way down to Ealing's Mill. I was sort of lucky one morning to go and find they were starting to demolish that down. So I took a picture. Shame seeing demolition. We're doing well, we're going fast. Don't forget, if you've got any questions, I'll try and do my best to answer them, but uh, there it goes. And the back of Swellgate we've moved to now. There's been quite a lot of controversy about the bridges down here recently, what with that, uh, because this one's still out of action, isn't it? And I think the other one started to be demolished now. Don't just we have had a promise that they will repair this bridge because it is historic, right? They're waiting for the permissions to come through, but they are planning to take what they call the Legion Bridge down and replace it with a footpath, which I think they're building as we speak. That mm. one is old. <laughs> so we're zooming a bit closer on the next image we've got um that building which is the back of the old baptist chapel so this is uh april 1984. this is going to one of my earliest um photographic escapades. This is taken on an old Instamatic camera. This actually would have been late 1970s, in fairness, on Breaking Stone Meadow, had this guy come over every year trying to do ridiculous things like catapulting a woman across the river or firing across on a cannon. And, and one year they tried to jump the river in a double-decker bus. And, um, and of course it was never ever going to get to the other side and they didn't expect it to either. They didn't even build a ramp to the other side to land on. So they knew it was just going to go splash. It was just a, a gimmick to, to see, but that's the only picture I got of that. Oops. So Joe Weston Webb managed to get his thing on the vineyards one year. And so he was firing people from a cannon. Um, not sure I fancy that myself. <laughs> oh dear. And you get set fire as well. So well, I put some of these images on Facebook and I put that one on and I got a warning from Facebook because it was a very dangerous thing. And <laughs> so I was told off for putting that image on. So what happened on the day? What happened on the day? I can't remember what the reason why they covered him in petrol and set fire to him. I can't really remember why they did it. Um, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they got fire extinguishers ready to put him out, but I wonder how long he can. <laughs> I'm not sure what the clown's doing, though. I mean, <laughs> So a couple of events um, coming up now. So um, I lived in Oldfield and I think we heard a noise one day and so the Saxon shadows were walking into Oldfield and so I just grabbed the camera and took a few pictures. So um, this is 1983. I came to Chichby in 1983 and I was very aware how important the Saxon shadows were it was to the town. All used to occupy the kids, isn't it? Yes, indeed. Mm. Who's the man at the front there? That's um oh. Percy Wiggins, yeah. Who? Percy Wiggins. Percy Wiggins. Yeah. Uh, he looks very recognised. Used to see him a lot down the way in CA. Um, so I've got a 
Don't stop her there. I know, were you in the Saxon Shadows? Oh, what? <laughs> um, I'm sure there would be somebody that could name some other people there. The only person I know there is uh, David Peters, who lived on Oldfield, but sadly he passed away at quite a young age. There was a Mark Wanklin, who was a really naughty boy at school, but he, <laughs> he was the drum major. Yes, play I think you're right, yes. Yeah. And he was superb at that. Mm. I think a lot of them in the Saxon Shadows were in Boys Brigade ah. before, and, and I think there was a, because the Boys Brigade had a marching band, but that's before my time in Brigade. Now in Oldfield, we had a few parties around the back garages, and uh, this was to celebrate um, Charles and Diana's wedding. And so um, the whole neighborhood got to, together and we all just put this up, we've got all, everybody around, we've put tables out and put out quite a nice buffet, as you can see, and put the bunting up. And we had a bit of a party that went on for a while. Well, yeah, well, there we are. And so that's a close up. So that one, John, that's my mum there, actually. <laughs> that's my mum. And this is Mrs. Shrimpton. Does anyone remember Mrs. Shrimpton? She was a right character. Um, always saw her at the hospital fates and she was there with her big round penny collecting money. Lovely lady. And, and these are the four organisers of the parties. You got That's me, I Mrs. Borton there. Um, and my mum again. Um, Mrs. Peters and Mrs. Nixon. 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 Nixon's one. Yeah, I think, yes, Mark Nixon, yes, yes. I think she passed away fairly recently. Shakespeare. Oh, yes, of course he would have worked there. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, uh, is that Amy Eels garden? This, this was our garden in Oldfield. This was our garden fence. <laughs> so, 1983. Uh, where is it now? I'd have to ask Ian that. Where is it now? It's in his garage. So, um, but we had it for a garden fence for quite a long time. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, we're sticking to a railway theme. We're now jumping over to. Oh, no, we're not. Got that wrong. Oh, yeah. Okay. One of the many carnivals, when we could have carnivals, they were great. Sadly, it's one of the only pictures I've got of the Swan in Tavern, as you can see there in the background. I didn't actually take a picture of the Swan, don't know why. Um, the kids from Deerhurst, that one, obviously. I said there'd be no trains. I was wrong, yeah, didn't I? Yeah. Look at that. There is a train after all. So who, who did that to isn't it? Yeah, I, I don't know who, who that is, actually. I don't know the organiser. And it's quite bizarre going through my pictures on the next one. I, I, I didn't know any, who any of these were. And I was looking at that. I thought, oh, it's Doctor Who. But then, of course, I thought, oh, wow, wow, wow. And it's the first Chipsby Boys Brigade company. Wow. I, didn't, I didn't even realise it was theirs. But I haven't got a clue of anybody on there. But you can actually just make out the brigade marching up there as well. So. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so this is Carnival 1983 question mark I got. Ted Preston. It's a shame I got the flag over his face, but it was the only picture I got of Ted Preston and the Tang Choir and the Foster's menswear in the background there as well. So. I do remember in 83 when I came to the school. Even the school was involved in the carnival, and the kids used to take place on, on the, uh, the slopes. And, uh, yeah, it was quite something. Oh, yeah, it was. It, it really was. Everybody went down to see the carnival. If it was on, you would all go and watch it. You were either involved in it, or you'd go and watch it. You, and quite often, you'd stand in one of the alleys, and when it had finished, you'd run round and go and see it come back the other side again. And... <laughs> But yeah, it was uh, tremendous. Did you know why it was finished? House and safety oh, is one of the things because they don't like anyone on on trailers and lorries now. They don't like you standing up. You have to be harnessed in and everything. And yeah. So we move up to Ash Church Camp. And this is one of those things that, again that you always knew you were getting close to Tewkesbury if you saw this water tower in the distance, and so. And this was just prior to demolition of this. 
Um, it's two pictures there, but you got a date on that? Um, no, I haven't got a firm date, but again, 1980s. But uh, of course, it was all sort of I shut that there was a proper demolition date and a time for it to be blown up, and everybody was going to go up and so that they it just happened to fall over the night before the official demolition. <laughs> And so, um, but of course, they didn't want thousands of people standing all on the road. They, uh, of course, it was pushed, but they did it secretly before any crowds were there. So, no train, but it is the railway crossing at Northway, um, which has long since gone. So, this was, um, I haven't got a date on that either. But you can just make out the uh, merits factory there in the background. But of course, it's all built up with other houses. And of course, we dread to think what we're going to get when we got the bridge to nowhere going over the far side and going over to 10,000 houses. And so um, who knows what the future holds for Ashditch and Tewkesbury. Lots of greenery going to disappear, but still. Back into Tewkesbury town and we got some floods. We always has floods, of course. Coming down the um, main road, this is where Morrison's would be now, of course. Is that Pullins Hovel? It is indeed, Pullins Hovel there, yeah. And so, because one of the healings coming through as well. So you had that double bend, and of course the bypass wasn't there at this time. And But they'd probably close the road today if it was like that. They wouldn't um, let you go through it. Uh, even in your Rolls Royce, you could get through as well. So, so again, you had, had like a footpath on the other side of the road as well. There's people there, but this is literally sort of like Morrison's garage now, isn't it? Here in the supermarket entrance. Still right there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. The there's the, there's the hobble. Yeah. Well, I certainly wouldn't fancy driving my three-wheeled car through uh, through the floods. I mean, you, you know, struggle with that one, aren't you, really? This is a, a different date. This is later, actually, but I haven't got the firm date. This is going to be later in the 80s. But again, it, it, I've put it in to show that you know, this is where Morrison's would be, really. It's just... They've closed so it off. Yards, That's right, yeah. When you're close here, and so all of Morrison's structure will be there. Well, so that tree must have gone, I guess. Yeah. Everybody comes out to look at it. Sorry? Everybody comes out to look at it. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, when road was open, I know I did it with the wellies on, and the people that tried to get through in their cars and they got stuck. And then if you push them out, they give you 50 pence. Ooh. Well, it might have even been 10 pence. I don't know. I can't remember now. I suppose 50 pence is a lot. <laughs> so I'm actually jumping quite ahead. No, not in the 80s now. Um, so this is a 2007 flood. And so... Um, just to show the severity of the 2007 flood, which... We all know it was bad, but um, it was quite a few years ago. Um, that's down by the, the back of mill there. And Church Street, it's quite astonishing to think that, you know, outside where the spoon's now, the hot pole, YMCA, completely underwater. You just can't really imagine it, that it would ever happen. Even in 1947, it didn't do that. Well, You're saying in 1947, it wasn't as bad. Yeah. It wasn't. There's a picture, isn't there, of the, of the Cliff Burr's book of Mr. Sprackling on his bike. Exactly that. No, it's still in the back. Oh, it's all right. by the high school. Mm. Right. But of course, in 1947, there was much more floodplain, which is what we're oh, supposed to keep. Yeah. If we keep build, building on our floodplains, then. Like yeah. Yeah. Hey ho. Yeah, there was a bit of So this is actually a car park in Morrison's. 2007. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. 
Oh dear, yeah, pretty bad. And that's round uh, the back of Canterbury Lees. It was just quite, quite amazing, to be honest. Oh, gone too quick. And, and that's the Canterbury pub underwater, reflecting there. But it was actually quite deep, that water there. I walked in there with the wellies, and it was actually quite, quite deep. So where would we be without the fair? I've got to have some fair pictures as well for Tewkesbury. This was a time when you could actually have two rides here at the front by the hospital. Um, they don't do that no more. Because there was always this lovely famous bottleneck here when you couldn't get past with the crowds. If you had a push chair, that's it. There was trouble trying to fight through and whatever. You... But hey, that's what made it fun. Um, bit of a clever shot with the tripod at night one time. Again, 1980s. And what I love about that one is the little cars, you know, they're just superb, aren't they? Absolutely superb. But again, two big rides at, at the top there by, by the hospital. Now this is going back, you've got, this is the old maltings in the background in the Spring Gardens car park and the old jet rockets, which is fantastic. Um, one of the reasons I got that, uh, that's, that's my brother Martin at the top there with his, with his little son holding on tight. <laughs> and another ride, one which I quite like, the rotor, which is all good fun. Again, it's really dated, I can't quite read it there, but to have a ride, it's just 30p, or you can go and watch it for 15p. Amazing. Well, I did say, John, that I was going to go quick and talk rather fast, because, would you believe it, that's the end. <laughs> <laughs>